Hello and welcome to my first Raspberry Pi tutorial. I'm Zachary Eigelman and today I will be teaching you how to read an MMA7455 accelerometer with the Raspberry Pi. What is an accelerometer? An accelerometer is an electromechanical device that will measure acceleration forces. We will be measuring gravitational force. We will use the MMA74553 axis accelerometer and will communicate with it to the Pi via I squared C. What parts will we need? We will need all of the usual Raspberry Pi parts. A Raspberry Pi, an SD card loaded with Raspbian, a keyboard, a screen, a micro USB power adapter, an HDMI or AV cable to connect the Pi to the screen, and an Ethernet cable and router to connect the Pi to the internet. You could also use a Wi-Fi USB adapter for this. We will also need five female-to-female -female jumper wires and an MMA74553 axis accelerometer module. Links to these will be in the description. Now we will connect the accelerometer module to our Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins. We will not connect the pins labelled IN1 and IN2 to anything on the Raspberry Pi as we do not need them. We will connect VCC and ground to the 3 volt 3 and ground pins on the Raspberry Pi respectively to power the board. We will also connect CS to 3 volt 3 to tell the board we will be using I2C. We won't connect SDO to anything, however we will connect SDA and SCL to the Pi's SDA and SCL pins respectively. Here is the circuit diagram. Please pause the video here and connect it up like in the picture. When you're done, press play. Once your Pi is booted up, log in to the command line. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop the Raspberry Pi from blacklisting I squared C. So to do this, we type sudo to run it as the super user. We type nano because that's the piece of software we're going to use to change this. And then we type this file in, which is forward slash etc forward slash mod probe dot d forward slash raspi dash black list dot c o n f then press enter you're going to want to add a hashtag before the line blacklist i2c dash bcm 2708 and that cancels out this line so your raspberry pi does not blacklist i2c press control x then y then enter to save it. Now what we want to do is we want to add I2C dev to our modules. To do this we also write sudo nano to edit a file as the super user and then we type in forward slash etc forward slash modules. At the bottom of this file we add a new line I2C dash dev. Then again to save it we press Control X, Y, Enter, and we're back in the command line. Now we need to install two things. To install them, we write sudo because we need to be super user, then apt get install, and we type in the two different things we want to install, which are Python dash SMBUS and space I2C dash tools. Press enter and they will download. You need to add the user, pi, or whatever user you're using, to I2C. So to do this, we write sudo add user, and my user is just called pi, which is the default, and then we write I2C. If your user isn't called pi, then obviously don't write pi, write whatever your user is called. Press enter, and then we run sudo reboot to reboot the pi. Once your Raspberry Pi has rebooted, you want to double check that the accelerometer is connected correctly before running the code. To do this, we use the command i2c detect dash y1. As you can see, in the response to that command, I get 1d over here. This means my accelerometer is connected correctly. 
If you do not get 1D in the response to that command, then try the command I2C detect dash Y zero, as some older Raspberry Pis have the I2C bus zero. If you still get no 1D in the response to the command, it means your wiring is incorrect. Try it again. If you get 1D in either of those responses of those two commands, it means it's connected correctly and you can download the code. To download the code, you type in the command wget https colon forward slash forward slash www.dropbox.com forward slash s forward slash x9 ovr mgig 0h tdjh forward slash mma 7455.py and press enter. Once downloaded, you run the code with the command python mma 7455.py. Now you can see I'm reading live data from the accelerometer with my Raspberry Pi. It comes in three dimensions, x, y and z. The x being left and right, the y being forwards and backwards, and the z will change when I do things like turn it upside down. Now you know how to collect data from the accelerometer, you could use it in any kind of project. You could use it as a sensor for an experiment, you could use it as an input for a program or a game, you could build a self-balancing robot with it, you could plot the axes on a graph, you could also make a pedometer with it. The sky's the limit. Let me know if you have any trouble doing this tutorial, I'll do my best to help. Thank you for watching my first Raspberry Pi tutorial, I hope to make many more. I hope you enjoyed it. You will find links to everything I used today in the tutorial in the description below. Also, last of all, I'd like to say thank you to the following people. Thank you to the Raspberry Pi guy who sent me the, this accelerometer and gave me tips on making a video tutorial. Also, thank you to raspi.tv and to Raspberry Pi for Beginners. They also gave me tips on making this video. Thank you to Google and to the Raspberry Pi Foundation for giving me the Raspberry Pi I used in t today's tutorial. And a massive thank you to Jim Darby who gave me technical support for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.